I'm Natasha Antonioni with Austin Life. I'm a realtor here in Austin and I also love design. So if you were with me on my previous video for Casa Westward, which is our new build right behind me, we were kind of a work in progress. Well, one of the updates that we've done is shiplap. When we built this house, we wanted to bring a little bit of Napa where we lived previously to Austin. So we built our dream Napa farmhouse. So the shiplap made a lot of sense in this property. If you saw the previous video, we were really intent on doing these gigantic palm leaves. Lenny Kravitz had a tour of his Brazil property and I fell in love with the palm leaves. However, we got three bids. They ranged from 2,000 to 16,000. It seemed like the $16,000 bid was the one to go with and it was just out of our budget. So we did the shiplap and we wanted to make sure that we carried it through the house because that's the key in design. You can't just take this one element and put it in a space. You have to make sure that it makes sense and has consistency through your whole property. So come on, let's check it out. What we learned when we built this space is that 18 foot ceilings are really high and it can have a cavernous effect. So one of the things that Dario did when he designed the house was he dropped the hallway ceiling height so that it felt like a home. And so we mimicked that height over here. We built a box and then did the shiplap around it. And this choice was the last choice because we first decided to do the shiplap in the bathroom and in the future yoga space. So we added it into the bedroom next. And then finally, we felt like this kind of married it through the whole house. It's all about that cohesiveness. I'll give you like a small example of what I'm talking about. You're gonna find a lot of triangles in this house. And so how do you make two rugs that don't really match work together? Well, first of all, you have the tonality of the black and the white. So this one is more white than black. That one is more black than white, but they both have the triangles in them so they can sit well together. We also have the entry tile mat and that has the triangles in it too. And you'll kind of see glimpses of it throughout like the tile selection in the bathroom. So let's go see the bathroom next. Okay, now into the bedroom. <laughs> we felt like we were gonna skip the palm leaves and went with these really massive lanterns to give drama to the space. And man, if anybody's ordering furniture right now, you know that it has taken a long time. We're like months out from getting our bed and our other pieces to finish the space. So we're not quite there yet, but we will show you the reveal when it's all set and done. If you've been with us before, you know that we're all about intentional design. So what does that mean, intentional design? It's when you weave your goals and your dreams into your space as daily reminders to get where you're going in life. So Dario and I, my husband and I, have a fantasy of having a beachfront property. So we decided to make this our beach art room. So I just love kind of the pop of the black against those super, super white. And it's just our daily reminder to get that beach house one day. Shiplap is pretty easy to do yourself. I did it in that front bathroom and it is not nearly as good as the guys that did it here. But really, I mean, I don't wanna climb up on a ladder that tall. So we needed the experts. And the other thing is you'll find this in every house. Those windows look like they're the same height, but they're actually not. So each piece has to be cut specifically and measured around each window. And my husband could do that, but he doesn't want to. <laughs> Some people say that shiplap is on its way out, but I just don't know. It is so timeless. It's been around for hundreds of years. I don't think it's going anywhere personally, but what do you think? Leave a comment below.